Hey guys, it's Sunday morning, October 14th, 11.07 a.m. Don't get excited, see? Computer. <laughs> Double. Um, we are just sitting home at the moment in the new house, and of course, as you see, no floor yet. Don't get me started. If you are in my group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression on Facebook, then you've seen my daily thoughts for the past few days, you know, <laughs> how I feel about the floor not being in. And if you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while, you could probably guess. Um, the San Jose house also hasn't sold yet. Again, don't get me started. <laughs> We're completely stressed out. Uh, Bob's not feeling well on top of that, partly probably because of the stress. We were gonna go do some family stuff this afternoon, but it involves a lot of driving, and honestly, Bob and I just aren't up to it. So we're gonna stay home and chill. I'm gonna be live on intervals of sanity later because I'm home. I wasn't gonna be home, so I wasn't gonna be there, but I'm gonna be home. And uh, yeah, if you all wanna see um, the house that's for sale, if you're maybe interested in buying um, a home in San Jose, I'm going to include the MLS listing in the description below, check it out. And also there, I have a video here on YouTube, well there's a few of them, but I'll click the latest video for the house down below. At the time of filming this clip, uh, my cousin who still lives in San Jose is going to be doing a video walkthrough tour for me and I'll be um, re-editing the, um, the current clip to include the video walkthrough tour. So when I have that, if I have it before you guys see this, I will be changing that and I'll make sure you have that link. And if the house sells, I'll put a text message here. Let's hope it does. Yeah, that would be great. <sighs> Moving and selling homes is not for the faint of heart. That's for dang sure. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna see if I can scrounge up some art supplies to play with because I need an outlet for all the stress. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, October 15th, um, 8.25 a.m. Don't get excited. <laughs> I'm sitting in front of the iPad, and I almost still didn't know. Um, I forget to look, to be honest. I am waiting for the um, contractors to come and continue working on our fence and retain surprise retaining wall that we didn't know about. Um, so they're going to continue fixing that today, tomorrow. Hopefully they get it done by tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. And I've got a couple other things associated to that that I want them to repair. So we'll see what happens. Um, still waiting on a word from Lowe's. I'm going to give them a little bit. And if I don't hear from them in a little while, I'm going to call them. We'll see. I just want my floor in. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is, I, I was going to say the butt crack of dawn, but it's not even the butt crack of dawn yet. It's about 4.30 in the morning. I'm at the Portland airport and I am flying to San Francisco for an NPR conference for Yahoo Small Business that they called me at the last minute. So I'm flying down there just for the day. Uh, I'm just completely insane. Anyway, yes, I do do some work for Yahoo, but small business every now and then. So I, anyway, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's 6.23 p.m. I only know that because I'm sitting in the car. Ugh, my makeup's past it. Anyway, it was a good talk. I thought I did pretty well. Um, the Yahoo team seemed happy um, with, um, I would say my performance, but it wasn't a performance, it was just me being me. Um, there is another sort of NPR, NPR, yeah, NPR, I think uh, entrepreneurship building event something Yahoo small businesses participating in 
and coming up in February. I don't think they know where it's going to be. Uh, I may get invited. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll find out if they really like me. They might invite me to do this again. That would be fun. All right. That's it. I'm going to go home because it's way past time for that. Oh, boy. All right. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> if I look tired, it's because I am. It is Wednesday morning, October 17th, 8.28 a.m. The computer helps me know what that is sometimes. <laughs> um, I got in last, time, last night uh, from San Francisco uh, after my speaking engagement. Um, if you're seeing this, you've seen some um, video footage and, and still some clips that I was able to take. Um, anyway, I got in um, after 6, I don't know, it was like 6.30ish or something. I think it was 7 o'clock before I got home. Um, had some dinner, did a couple things, and then crashed. <sighs> this morning I got a whole bunch of stuff to do because I'm headed out on another business trip tomorrow morning. I know, seriously, I don't even like flying. Anyway, I'll tell you all about it when I can, and yeah. It's going to be interesting. I'm editing last week's footage for the vlog slash moving diaries and I realized that I didn't film an ending so that's fun. So now I'm sitting here trying to decide if I should film an ending or should I just put a still frame. I think I'm going to film a quick clip. So anyway, I'll be back. Good morning everybody. It is again it's not even the butt crack. It's just still nighttime. It's 4.15 in the morning. A.M. What day is it? Thursday, Thursday October... 17th? Something. October something. October 17th. I don't um, know. I'm not dropping. 18th. Trying. October 18th. 18th? I had to count. Um, we are headed to the airport again because, yet again, I am taking off on another business flight this time for a week. And, yeah. this More time. a week more than a week it's like nine days eight nine days um this time i got fred to drive me fred's driving so i don't have to leave my car <laughs> fred's got the house to himself too yeah so anyway fred's partying. <laughs> fred's partying yeah fred's gonna be partying he's gonna be partying <laughs> bring out um, the lampshades <laughs> i will check in with y'all when i can it's gonna be a all-day flight so yeah i'll be back It's Friday morning, October 19th, and can you all guess whose house I flew to yesterday to visit and for a working uh, retreat and collaboration for YouTube? Okay, can you all guess? Do you all watch your channel? I'll give you a hint. I'm in South Carolina. You guys guess in the comments below. Anyway, I am sitting in her art room. She's getting ready for the day and then we have some packing and stuff to do um, before we uh, meet the other YouTubers for the collaboration um, retreat that we're having for the week. We'll be doing a lot of filming so there'll be video content coming up on my channel and others. So yeah, anyway, that's a thing. I'll be back.
It's Saturday morning, October. <laughs> Crap. 20th. 20th. I'm sitting here with the person who I was. See? Hi! <laughs> I know most of you know who that is. Artsy Endeavors. Yes. So we're it's here me. picking up some more YouTube cohorts and we're here for a working vacation. So we're going to just sit here and have some coffee. We're in the Myrtle Beach Airport. <laughs> and uh, we're going to wait for the rest of them to get here. I will try to catch them all on film. Um, we'll see what happens. Some of them aren't crazy about being on camera, so we'll find out. Yeah, well, they're going to get a pleasant awakening late, this week. Too late now. <laughs> all right, we'll be back. Good morning everybody. It's Monday, October 22nd. We're in South Carolina with the Intervals of Sanity Art Retreat. I was taking out the garbage and I just saw that so I thought I'd film it and oh I, I promised I wouldn't get her face on camera but one of my art cohorts is right here. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah I couldn't resist filming this because I had no idea it was out here. All right I'll be back. So the retreat got off to some craziness. Remind me not to do any more retreats near <laughs> Halloween again. Um, we were um, given products to teach with and share and explore by DecoArt, Pentel, Stencil Girl, Foilables, among others. And yes, we did dress up in costume uh, for part of the retreat, unfortunately for me. Um, one of the other teachers at the retreat was Carla McCants, and she paints these fun tumblers. And we got to try the deco art products on the tumblers, and I decided to see if I could do a painting on one in the round, which I did. Um, it was a lot of fun to sit with all of e my art students and teachers and uh, really explore the idea of painting these tumblers. Um, most of us had never done it before, so it was really fun to learn how to do it the proper way of painting them and um, a resining them with epoxy resin when you're done and um, which is what Carla is showing here it, there's really an art for it's all it's an art form all its own and it would be interesting to explore it in the future um, I look forward to maybe trying that we'll see then I realized we had some of the deco art pouring medium and I thought one morning that I would sit and play with it because I have done quite a few pours, but I'd never used the deco art medium. And I decided that I would play with it. I will tell you that um, it was really fun. I didn't have nearly as much time to play with it as I thought I would. And it led to an impromptu class. And at one point, everybody was sitting around the table working on acrylic pouring. Um, I will be... Uh, comparing it to Liquitex pouring medium, which I have here in the art room at home, and I because I brought some of the deco art home with me, so look forward to future videos comparing the two. Uh, the two or three little paintings that I ended up doing with it really turned out really interesting. Um, this one came out a little muddy, um, but as it dried, it actually turned really, really red. Um, they do continue to change and to move around as they dry. This one also did a lot of changing, um, and I will share them in a future vlog. I do have them here somewhere. I think I put them away. I'm using air quotes. You can't see me. <laughs> um, anyway, it was a lot of fun and um, all of them got into doing acrylic pours and learning how to do it, learning how to mix the paint. We didn't have exactly the right tools for it because it wasn't something that was really planned, but we used what we had and we had a lot of fun doing it. So I would tell you all if you want to try acrylic pouring and you're looking for a good affordable paint at range and pouring medium, uh, check out the DecoArt products. I'll link their website in the description below. Um, their Media Fluid Acrylics, the Traditions paints, the Americana paints that we had, and the pouring medium all worked really well. All we had were these little cups, were, which were from making the tumblers, and these cocktail stirrers, which weren't um, exactly what you should be using. You really do need a craft stick. 
but anyway, it was a lot of fun. There'll be a couple of still images of some other pours that were done uh, right after this and a picture of the uh, bottle of the pouring medium. and some of the media fluid acrylic paints. Then I decided to try some of the Pentel products that we were given, which included the pocket brush pen, and I did a doodle with it, impromptu doodle. I love this pen, you guys, by the way, and it is waterproof. I also got to try the Americana um, mediums and a Stencil Girl stencil. I do love Stencil Girl. Carla McCants decided to paint this little cabinet with one of my stencils, and I also got to try foilables, which I'd never tried before, and they were a lot of fun. I also got to, in some downtime, sit and paint this face in my journal. It was based on a peony and parakeet video I'd seen in some of my downtime while I was away. I'll link the video in the description below, along with the links to all of the companies that aided us in our retreat. Um, we also got to go out to a nice seafood restaurant with Jeff Utter, Cindy's husband, and just hang out, and it was a buffet, so we ate way too much. We also painted our panties for the um, ovarian cancer fundraiser we're doing, and then Chelsea, Peg, Robinson, and I took off to the beach one day, and we happened to get there at just the right time between rainstorms. It was a bit windy and chilly, but it was beautiful nonetheless. I didn't realize being a West Coaster, um, even though my husband had told me how green the ocean is on the other side of the country. I know that's a weird thing, but my husband's from New York City. He's been telling me the ocean on the other side of the country is green. It's not blue. I didn't really believe him. Don't tell him I said that. Anyway, it's green. It's very olive green. We had a lot of really great food out at a number of different restaurants while we were there. I will try to link them in the description below along with all the companies that sponsored our trip um, or gave us products to play with. The trip home was a bit long and arduous, but I am home finally, and I came home to the new floor in the art room, so that's always a good thing. I have been setting up the room since I got back, and I will be sharing it with you all next week. So it's been a long week and a half or so filled with lots of plane flights and things like that. I didn't film all of it. Um, there just wasn't time, to be honest. But I did take some still shots, which I have included if you're seeing this. Um, I'll try to do some little voiceovers of things too. But anyway, I am just exhausted. So six planes in like a week and a half. That's a lot of plane flights for somebody who doesn't like flying. <laughs> but I'm home, I'm gonna stay here for a while. My art room floor is done. So I'm gonna spend the next few days just sort of hibernating and getting my art room set up and things like that. So anyway, fun adventures. Um, a lot of new things I've never done before. Um, speaking at an NPR conference. Who knew I'd ever do that? Flying to the East Coast for an art retreat. Who knew I'd ever do that? So anyway, it was really fun to meet up with people like um, all the ladies, but you know, Peg Robinson, Shell C, um, Cindy Utter, um, Messy Table Studios, Scrap and Life Away. Uh, I'm missing somebody, I know I am, but I can't think of who it is right now, I'm too tired. So anyway, I'm going to catch up on my sleep. I'm going to have a good cup of coffee. You saw the beautiful rain outside. So yeah, it's a thing. Have a great day. Have a great week, everybody. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll bring you along on my adventure setting up my art room. And that's it for right now. See you later. Mm -hmm.